Hey -o. So I'm here with comic books I picked up this week. Um, I only picked up these two new ones. Um, I was very excited about uh, Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. Sorcerer's Supreme. Um, but fairly disappointed. Uh, so the art's by Robbie Rod... Uh, I'm doing what the, what the previews do. With Javier Rodriguez, who I've kind of had a love affair with the last um, few months he's been doing Spider-Woman. Um, and the writing is by Robbie Thompson. Um, Jordi Belair does colors in this. That's right. Um, I don't think I like Jordi Belair's colors on Javier Rodriguez's artwork. Um, which is crazy, because I love jo Jordi Belair's colors. Um, I thought the story was fairly boring. Um, the artwork was alright. Um, I mean, it's technically great. Um, the story was thin. I'll, I'll check out the next one, but, um, but I, I fear that my love affair with Javier Rodriguez may have come to an end. Um, so the other new issue I got this week was uh, Stray Bullets, um, which I decided to jump on the line. I've been wanting to check it out for a while, um, but this, so this is the first issue of Stray Bullets that I've read, and it was wonderful. Um, yeah. Love the art. I love... So, I don't know anything about... Like I said, this is the first I've read. So, um... I don't know anything about the characters. Um, it's mother and daughter. Um, um, very dysfunctional. Mother had daughter at 15. It's a horrible mother. I'm not sure how they s separated, parted ways. I don't remember that. Um... But I like their relationship, I like them as characters. Um, I have no idea what's going on, except that um, this character, I don't remember her name, um, and her friends have, I'm assuming, stolen a huge amount of money um, and are on the run. They've got people chasing them. Um, and this symbol is has something to do with um, them getting caught. It means something, so they're able to be tracked through that symbol, which this little boy keeps drawing everywhere. Um, anyway, great stuff. Very excited about it. I think I have uh, hundreds of issues, back issues to go read. Um, speaking of which, I picked up uh, number 17, which... Um, Jared Osborne, um, who has a YouTube channel that I subscribe to, um, mentioned in his vid his most recent video, um, and he said that this issue is a standalone with the mother. Um, I have not read this yet, um, but I just picked it up. Um, I went back to the store and picked it up because I love the mother. Um, I mean, she's horrible, but... Yeah, I just love the dysfunction. Yeah, so very excited about Stray Bullets. I also picked up um, Spider-Woman number 9 and 10 to finish off um, the previous Spider-Woman um, volume. Um, I thought they were both done by Javier Rodriguez, but uh, 10 is done by someone named Natasha Bustos, who I looked up and I'm pretty sure she did, um, um, or is doing maybe, um, Devil Dinosaur, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, um, which I've not checked out or looked at at all, so, I don't know. Hey, -o. it's my phone crapped out, um, but yeah, I was talking about Natasha Bustos, um, and Devil Dinosaur, and, um, 
I think I'll try to pick those up in dollar bins if I run across them. Um, but yeah, like her artwork. Um, this is the first I've seen of her. I think I said that. Um, very playful. Um, and colorist on this issue was Vero Gandini, who I've never heard of. Um, and then, and look at this um, Javier Rodriguez page. Sorry, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. Just so playful, so I don't know action. So much color. Who does colors on this issue? Yeah, uh, yeah. Javier Rodriguez does colors on this issue, issue too. I think he, he uh, I think he does. I like his color. I actually like his color um, later in the Spider Woman issues. I um, I like his color work earlier in the Spider Woman issues. Like this one, I think his color work is great. Um, whereas um, maybe around five six um, of the current volume, um, thought there was a little too m too many effects going on. Um, and then picking up horror stuff, Halloween, blah, 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 um, picked up Lady Killer number one and Rachel Rising number 13. This is the first Rachel Rising I've picked up, um, I've been very interested in it, um, read this issue, um, it was great, it was beautiful, Terry Moore's the artist and writer, um, I think his, I think his artwork is beautiful, um, I think the story is beautiful. I love, I love the walk. I love um, the undead. <laughs> and yeah, there's touching stuff. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about Rachel Rising. Excited to pick up trades. And then Lady Killer. I've held off on Lady Killer. Um, because Joel Jones's um, artwork is a little bit too slick for me, um, for my taste. Um, but I've picked, I've picked up several things that she's done up over and over again. I, I think she did. Uh, I forget the. Um, Anyway, I forget the name of another book that she did. She did a few issues of Spider Woman that I stayed away from. Um, um, when there was like the Spider Women uh, crossover going on, but this is pretty, pretty beautiful stuff, and it was a very fun, very fun read. Um, I like the character, characters. I like her attitude. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Color work on this issue is done by Michael Madsen, who I also never really seen, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, I like it at least. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a great Halloween! Happy Halloween!